Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy and today I will be dyeing my hair pink. I've wanted to dye my hair pink for a very long time but I've always been really scared to do it. Just a little bit of hair history. I am not naturally this blonde. This is my natural colour on top. I used to be really blonde as a baby. I started getting my hair highlighted when I was 13. So because of lockdown, I've not actually been able to get my hair coloured since December. To keep my hair looking ashy rather than those brassy tones, I like to use a purple shampoo. The results I have seen from this brand are unbelievable. Rather than using a harsh colour on your hair, it's actually just a shampoo which will give you the same results as what you would use if you were to colour it. I'm using the Bleach London Rose Shampoo. There is also a rose conditioner that you can use with this, but I usually just use the shampoo and then a normal conditioner when I'm doing a purple shampoo. I am not sponsored by Bleach London. It says on the bottle, Rose shampoo for a soft pink rinse, vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. It doesn't actually say how long to leave it on for, but usually when I do a purple shampoo, I leave it on for about four to five minutes, and that gives me some really ashy and also kind of purpley gray tones through it. It says, lather into wet hair and massage through to ends, rinse and follow with bleach London rose conditioner for depth of colour. So if this all goes to plan and if it works then I'll probably get the conditioner too to see if I like the colour it goes. I have to keep my hair colour pretty neutral for different castings. Hopefully I'll be able to wash it out after a few washes because I have to get my hair back to a neutral colour at some point anyway. I'm going to jump in the shower now and pop this on. I will show you the colour developing after a few minutes of it on my hair. Oh, I'm really cold. So I've had it on for about three minutes. I think it's probably better the longer you leave it on. It's rose, so it's never gonna be bright pink. It'll be a pastel pink, but I think once I've washed it out and dried my hair properly, that's probably when I'll see better results. I can already see a really nice pink tinge. I'm gonna go wash it out now, and then we'll see afterwards. Okay, so I've just got out of the shower. Now we're gonna see if it worked. I kind of wish that I'd done a purple shampoo before because usually that lightens my hair and bleaches it a little bit. So maybe I'll do that next time to see if the results are any different. Let's have a look. Okay, it's got tinges. It's not really light because my hair hasn't been bleached in a while maybe. Also my roots are really dark so I don't think it's done anything to those. Let me go ahead and dry it now and see if it looks any different. Okay, well, it looked much pinker when it was wet. This part at the top has a big pink streak through it. I'm gonna do it again. I think I'm gonna wash my hair in a couple of days after doing a silver shampoo first once my hair is already lightened and see if it takes to that a bit better. Mm. Okay, so it's been five days since I originally tried to use the shampoo on my hair. I did a purple shampoo using the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. That kind of lightened it. I've just got out of the shower and dried my hair after using the rose shampoo again. It's definitely helped lift it. But remember, this is not a dye. I think if I'd have had my hair colored recently, it probably would have gone even more of a candy floss light pink. I have noticed that the parts that haven't been highlighted in a really long time haven't lifted at all. I'm going to add some shots in here so that you can see a comparison of what it was like the first time I did it and what it was like when I did it today. I'd like to try it again once I've had my hair coloured. I'm actually getting it highlighted in a few weeks. But I'm actually really happy with the outcome. It's not too harsh. It's a much nicer colour than the purple shampoo makes it. It looks a lot softer. And I think the blend from my roots into the coloured blonde is much better. I think. If you were looking to dye your hair pink or just give it a little bit of a tinge of pink, I would definitely recommend using this product before actually using a dye on your hair because some dyes can really damage your hair. 
I've always been very careful with getting my hair coloured. I've never put too much bleach on it. I haven't got it coloured excessively in a short period of time. I wouldn't say that this was a complete fail because I am happy with the outcome and the tinges that it has going through it now. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. And hopefully I'll see you back here for my next video. Bye guys.